Hello, my name is Robert James, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use Immersive Reader by Microsoft on any website or PDF document thanks to Helperbird. We're going to use the Wikipedia page uh, about Fulham Football Club as an example. You will also need to ensure that you have the Helperbird browser extension installed. To begin, you'd want to click on the Helper Bird browser extension icon, which is normally located on the top right of your browser. We're clicking, and the Helper Bird app appears. We want to go to the Quick Actions area and look for the purple button with the book icon. This is the View an Immersive Reader button. We're going to click it. It will start loading Immersive Reader. It might take a second or two. And it selects all the body and copy on this web page and loads it into Immersive Reader. Now that we've done this, we now can use all the wonderful features. For people who aren't aware, we're going to walk through how to use each one. For example, if I wanted this read out to me and highlighted each word, I can click the play icon located at the bottom. Fulham Football Club is an English football club from London that currently plays in the Premier League in the 2022-23 season. That is excellent. If I wish to change the voice, I can go to the voice settings located right next to the play button. From here, I can make it slower, and I can also change it to male or female. Once I've done this, I can click play again. Season. It plays in a white shirt and black shorts for home games. You can see how it's adapted to my own style. Now, some of the other great features of Immersive Reader are the text preferences. And to access those, you want to click the double A icon on the top right. And you can see we can adjust the text size by sliding the icon. We can increase or decrease the spacing, and change the font, and also adapt the themes. A handy tip for you is you can also use the helper bird settings in here as well. The next options are the grammar settings, which is the third or middle icon here. You can turn on syllables to break up the words. You can show nouns by making them pur uh, purple. You can show verbs, adjectives and adverbs. You can even show labels. You can adjust the colors of these by selecting the color for each one. The next options are our reading preferences. You can enable a line focus to just highlight the sentence as we need. We can also adjust and enable a picture dictionary and we can even translate the whole document or word to word. I'm going to pick a new word, a new language, Estonian and I'm going to select by word. So if we come along and select the word football, you can see it shows you the word, the English version and the Estonian version. And sometimes it has the ability to show you how, to, or how the option to speak it. And along here, we have a picture dictionary as well, showing you what that word is. Very extremely handy for any secondary or new learners. That's all the wonderful features, and there's even more to discover as you play around with Immersive Reader and Helperbird. That's how you access any website with Immersive Reader. But now, we can show you how to use Immersive Reader in a PDF document. And to do that, you need to open up Helperbird's PDF Reader, which we'll also have another video about. But to do it, you need to go back up to the Helperbird icon, click it, Open up the Helper Word extension, go to the Quick Actions area once again, and click on the Open PDF Reader. This is the pink button with the PDF logo. And once you do that, it will load in our default PDF and give you access to all our wonderful tools, which you can learn about in our PDF Reader video. But we want to go to the View in Immersive Reader button, which is the book icon. And we're going to click it. It will load. And now we have the entire document loaded into Immersive Reader. And that's how you access PDF documents in Immersive Reader. Of course, if you need any more help or have any questions, you can access 
our support staff on our live chat at helperbird.com or you can go to helperbird.com forward slash help and view all our wonderful support guide videos like this one but also our support videos as well.